Asus just released a list of X470 and B450 boards which will support PCI Express 4 in different degrees. Here's a summary for you. Welcome back, let's get straight to the point, here's the list. In short, every board on the list except the TOF X470 Plus Gaming now supports one PCI Express 4 M2 SSD. MyDrivers.com did some tests and couldn't see a difference between X570 and B450 SSD speeds. On most B450 boards you will also get 16 PCI Express 4 lanes for your graphics card. Only the Strix series doesn't support PCI Express 4 at all. This applies to most of the X470 boards too. They mostly don't support PCIe 4 or just provide 8 lanes, like the Strix X470F. Only the TUF X470 Gaming Plus shows full support for 16 lanes. So that's overall good news, but beware. It all depends on the AGSA from AMD, which is a procedure library BIOS developers rely on. So if AMD chooses to block PCI Express 4 support on the whole last generation chipset series, the option to activate it might disappear on future BIOS updates for your board. Another frequently asked question related to this topic is, why X570 boards need a chipset fan when X470 and B450 can provide PCI Express 4 without active cooling? The answer is quite simple. They just utilize the PCI Express lanes the CPU itself can provide. And on this CPU most likely is a cooler of some sort. So the X470 and B450 chipsets have not a lot to do with PCI Express support in general. The X570 chipset on the other hand is, in simple terms, a Zen 2 IO module which adds another 20 lanes and therefore needs to be cooled separately. Whether the fan is needed or not is a topic for another day or video. In short, mainboards are developed to function even in the worst possible conditions. So with heavy load on the chipset in a case without any or very low RPM fans, the active cooler would most likely save the day. I'm aware there have been tests with a passive heatsink like the Bauer did, but remember these were done on an open test bench and not within the restrictive thermal environment of a closed case. So what's my conclusion? PCI Express 4 is nice to have, but not a reason to choose X470 or B450 over X570 in most cases. You can't rely on the support to stay in future BIOS versions. Also, the benefits of a PCI Express 4 SSD are most likely nothing most buyers of a B450 can make use of. If you really need the performance, you will most likely get an X570 which supports two or more of the latest SSDs. So there are a lot of other reasons to get a chipset other than the X570 for Ryzen 3000, but PCI Express 4 support is really low on the list. That's it for today. If you found the video to be helpful in any way, then please consider to like, comment and subscribe, or even share the video around which helps me grow my channel a lot. If you didn't like the video, then give me that thumbs down and don't forget to tell me why in the comments. Thanks for watching, happy building and see you next time. By the way, do you like the new channel style?